here i'm going to talk about physical examination of the heart or cardiovascular system when we examine the heart basically we listening to the heart with a stethoscope and basically a doctor might detect any irregularities of heartbeat or a heart murmur or other clues to heart disease. So by this examination, we try to find out to detect any abnormalities of the heart. The heart and peripheral vascular system. When a patient come to you with the signs symptom of heart disease or signs symptom of heart failure or heart attack, like patient can explain to you, I have a shortness of breath or I feel the dizziness or light headache or feel, feeling fatigue, weakness, inability to sleep, or discomfort in other area of the upper body. Also, chest discomfortness, right? So when patient complain like this, we call data, subjective data and objective data. So when patient complain according to their language, we call subjective data. Usually chest pain, shortness of breath or dyspnea, calf, productive or dry, fatigue, edema, nocturia, leg pain or cramping, claudication. So if patient has a peripheral vascular disease, they complain. When I walk, pain start. When I take rest, pain disappear because of impaired of blood supply, leg pain or cramping, and changes the skin color, obesity, or medication being taken. So it is included in the subjective data. Or cardiovascular risk factors, family history of cardiac or vascular problem, also, the personal history of cardiac or vascular problem. Or what is objective data? So after they examine the patient, what we see, what we watch, what we feel, what we touching or measurement the vital sign, everything included objective data. When we collect the objective data, we go for inspection, palpation, percussion, and auscultation. First one, inspect. So inspection, examiner will inspect the anterior chest for pulsation particularly apical impulses, right? And then created as the left ventricle rotated again the chest wall during the systolic, meaning contraction of the heart. So these are not always visible. So if I go during the inspection of heart, examination of heart, we start with the general inspection. We, we do inspection for cyanosis, dyspnea, or edema. And it is followed by assessment of jugular venous pressure. So we, after, during the inspection, we also check in the neck area for JVP means jugular venous pressure examination, the pulse and checking the blood pressure as well. 
so after the inspection we supposed to go for palpation but it is important to share with you the inspection of the heart area allowed to reveal the following systems what is this system so in this examiner put the ventral surface over the fifth intercursal space we call precordial area which is indi uh, indicate for significantly increase of the heart in size if any also we will try to see any visible pulsation and if we see any visible pulsation then we try to find out the location of it location has a diagnostic relevance if we see any exaggerated apical pulsation that is visible by or inspection exaggerated apical pulsation is indicated for left ventricular hypertrophy important right after that we go for palpation so in this picture examiner palpate the heart examiner will palpate apical impulse at the fourth or fifth intercursal space or medial to the mid clavicular line so if you draw a line just middle point of clavicle and that is crossed along the nipple is called mid clavicular line and fifth intercursal space here mid right but not pulpit in obvious client or the client with a thick chest wall the examiner will palpate the apex and left sternal border this border and also base of pulsations normally none are present if your patient is a healthy individual a palpation basically is an awareness of the heartbeat or of the short lived arrhythmias palpation may be caused by emotional stress or physical activity or also consuming some caffeine or nicotine right so next yeah the, the in this picture here doing the percussion right so percussion or we can call trapping to the surface of the over the cardiac area so percussion this may be performed by examiner to outline the heart border or neck for cardiac enlargement denoted by resonance over the lungs and dull note over the heart it is resonance over the lungs because lungs is full of air it is dull over the heart because heart is a solid and contain liquid or blood right so during the percussion of the heart it involved the trapping on the surface of the heart so we, if she is doing trapping in order to determine the underlying structure or more often it is used as a part of the clinical evaluation of the lungs 
heart or abdomen. However, the percussion of the heart can be useful in estimating a patient's heart size for pericardial effusion, if any. So during the percussion, we percuss the right cardiac border, left cardiac border. So this is the right cardiac border. This is the left cardiac border. During percussion, we have to check this or left or right second intercostal space, we could parkash or trapping. And next one is here auscultation. So auscultation during the auscultation, we use the stethoscope. Auscultate the heart rate and rhythm and check for pulse deficit. What is pulse deficit? The difference between epicles heartbeat or heart pulsation in radial arteries. Ausculted the epical heartbeat while palpating the arteries. If any irregularities is noted. Also, we ausculted in different, I mean, location like second intercostal space or aortic area, second intercostal space to left for pulmonary area, third intercostal space or fourth intercostal space for tricuspid area and fifth intercostal space for mitral area. Right. So when we put the stethoscope here over this fifth intercostal space, it is called point of maximum impulse of epical pulse. It is the fifth intercostal space, mid clavicular line. So this is the clavicle. If you draw a imaginary line, just that way mid clavicular so the apex beat you found this area if displaced to the left indicate patient has a left ventricular hypertrophy so auscultation with what we're talking auscultation here auscultation of the heart is means auscultation or examination of the heart. And that is not to diminish the importance or difficulties acquiring the necessary skill. And now let me go next here in this picture, we already explained. And now here, the heart and peripheral vascular system. Particularly, we are going to check adequate blood flow to the extremity by palpating arterial pulse or equality and symmetry and the checking that condition of the skin and nail. So after auscultation, we go for check the pulse in the body, different pulses. So you see this is the picture, the examiner feel the radial pulse. Here examiner feeling the apical pulses. So in this picture, we left a man holding a water tube in the during the gardening when water is passing by this person can feel the liquid is flowing if water stop 
this person also can feel no water inside the tube. So when you work in the hospital day by day, you will get the skill that if you can feel like this, the volume of the flu, uh, blood, is it weak? Is it strong? Is it um, full of blood or empty? So after this realization, we grading the forces or pulses. Usually two plus is a normal and easily palpable. One plus is weak or very barely palpable. Triple pulse means full pulse increased and four plus means strong or bounding pulses. So arterial in the I mean arterial pulse in the arms and legs. So here showing the temporal pulse, carotid pulse, brachial pulses, radial pulse, the upper extremities, femoral pulse, popliteal pulse, posterior tibial, and dorsalis pedis. These are the lower extremities. Arteries in the arms and hands, radial pulse located in the radial side of the forearms at the wrist. This is the picture you can see. Ulnar pulse located on the opposite side of the location of the ulnar bones. If the radial is here, the opposite is ulnar. And brachial pulses, this picture. Here is the brachial. So located above the elbow at the anticubital fossa. This area is called anticubital fossa. In between biceps and triceps muscle. In the lower extremities, artery in the legs, femoral pulses here, located below inguinal ligament or midway between symphysis pubis and anterior superior iliac spine. So anterior superior iliac spine is this area and pubis symphysis here. It is in between these two, femoral. Popliteal, just behind the knee joint in popliteal fossa, located behind the knee. Then dorsalis pedis, located at the top of the foot in the line with the groove between the extensor tendon of the great and fast toes and posterior tibial pulses located on the inside of the ankle behind the, below the middle malleolus. So this is the bones here, it's called middle malleolus. So in this picture, filling the popliteal pulses. In this picture, filling the posterior tibial. And this picture, filling dorsalis pedis pulses. So if patient have any peripheral vascular disease, atherosclerosis, diabetes mellitus uncontrolled, or budget disease, renoid phenomenon, we will get alteration of lower extremity pulses. Here showing, peripheral vascular system exam, we check for pre-tibial edema and measure the cup circumference and measure the blood pressure. If patient has need to examine the peripheral vascular system, examine will prepare superficial inguinal nodes and beginning the inguinal area and move down towards the inner eye. 
in uh, ultrasound stethoscope may be needed to amplify the sound of a pulse wave if pulse cannot be palpated. In here, we are going to give a special focus to examine the carotid artery uh, examination. So in this picture, we can see the two carotid artery, right? So we never ever examine two carotid artery in the same time, once at a time. Here showing feeling or palpate the carotid artery and here oscillated. Carotid artery located in the groove between trachea and sternocleidomastoid muscle. This is the sternocleidomastoid muscle and in this area is the trachea in between or middle to and also alongside the muscle. The examiner will palpate one carotid artery at a time to avoid compromising blood flow to the brain. The examiner will also auscultate each carotid artery for presence of a brewery. So when you put the stethoscope, if we get the brewery, we will get it. Means a blowing sound which indicate blood flow turbulence, means the artery is narrowing. And when blood passing through a narrow pathway, we call turbulence. Normally, a brewery is not present in healthy individual. Let me see another picture. So palpating, we use two finger once at a time in one side. And here showing auscultating carotid arteries. So if we see our patient have any problem, right, of heart attacks, we will educate them. First of all, let me show you what are the cardinal sign of heart attack. Usually patient comes in the chest pain, and chest pain is radiate along the left jaw, left shoulder, and left arms. Also, other systems get involved, like patient feel dizziness, shortness of breath, unusual fatigue, weakness, inability to sleep, cold sweat, discomfort in other area of the upper body, chest discomfort or paleness or clammy skin, sometimes vomiting or nausea and abdominal pain. So if we see any warning sign of heart attack, we will examine, right? And we will do the EKG. Whatever, what is the important for education our patient, reinforce the client teaching, advise the client to modify lifestyle for risk factor associated with heart and vascular disease. Encouraging the client to look for regular physical exercise and clients should look for medical assistance for sign of heart or vascular disease. And this is the sign what we explained here. 